Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is the Rise of Nation, it is episode 29, and today here at SFB, we have Federica in the third game in the promotion division here in Division 1 of Denmark. We also got Esberg in an absolutely crazy game. That game there will probably determine if Esberg are out of this race to get promoted, and yet again choke promotion for the second year in a row, or if they're going to try and find a way to claim three points back towards us and try and call their way back into the promotion race. We obviously have got eight games to go, and it's only eight games between us and going up to the next division. As you can see, those are the results from last time out. If you didn't watch last episode, you're all caught up now. We are four points clear on top, and we have Hiverdor as the first game of next episode. And there's a lot of things going on. They reckon we should fully rotate for this game here and, you know, just, you know, make sure some fresh legs are in there. I am tempted to do that against Federica because we should win no matter what. I am going to get Henderson out there for Hukic and I am going to get Dustin for Frank. Um, outside of that, though, I don't think I really want to do anything else. Um, I'm not sure if I do. Christian will come in here. I might actually get Christian in for Roberts and I might get... Cruel in as well for Mortensen, but that is it. Outside of that, Zahore is going to start. The shoe's too good not to start. Uh, and yeah, that's that's kind of what we're going to do, I think. Uh, Matthias Madsen could play this one. It's, it's here and there, isn't it? No, I'm going to start the shoe. Uh, I feel like we need to still go further forward and thinking. Um, Dust will come into the inside forward. Obviously, you have it. Uh, Hukic used to be that um, promising midfielder. He's now just a young attacking mid. He's obviously very good at what he does as well. You know, we have so many key prospects here at the club that are just developing and crying to be professional. And hopefully, we can get there. Anyway, your lineup is going to be Raza. Enna Mark is good enough to come in and play right back here today. Fernandez Serrara stay together. Crew will come in at left back. And if he plays well, keeps his spot for the next game. Phil Hamosa will be risked here. Hopefully, we get ahead and we can take him off here after 45 minutes or so. That would be nice. Hansen obviously, is going to keep his spot here to keep Kenny a little bit fit. The shoe, Hukic Dus is going to get a game as well, and Zahore up top. Hopefully, this just, we just go out, there's a Zahore scores a Hattie, and game over, and whatever. We have the ability to pump Federica on our day, and also on our day, Federica can FM us. They have FM'd us in the past, um, and they've got Brems there at left back, but we also on our day know how to pump them there as well. We need to go and show them why and what we can do here. We're going to obviously move and dust into an inside forward on attack because that's what he's better at um, as well. And I do like him in that role. And we will go out there and press like we always do. Score prediction in the chat. I think if we score early, we will be okay and get into our positive system from this balance system. But we'll wait and we'll see. The one thing that annoys me about FM is that if you're playing City in a sitting 10th, you don't play a 10th place City form because out the window when you play teams. Yeah. How are you, Ants? You're still going here, lad. Yeah, in seven hours nearly, four minutes away. In the stream. Anyway, Dulce flicks down. Bill Hamosa, ball in. Basti. So, Hore, free header. Come on. It's off. Who's off? What? No. Who's off? <sighs> really wanted that early goal. I was off and celebrating. I did not think he was off at all. Early start looks okay. We're going to move us into the positive system here. We started well enough to get into the positive. Away we go. They're yet to have a chance. Oh, there we go. Every time you say something, football manager just does whatever you're trying to say. A goal would be nice right now. Come on, FM. Raza, short. Fernandez, good on the ball. He lumps it a bit longer, but Hukic is a big boy and he keeps it. What a half volley pass or volley pass. So Jorge's a big boy and away he can go. Maybe he can go inside here. Maybe he can win a pen. Maybe he can do something. Oh, what a run. What a save. Hukic is there. The youngster scores his first ever goal for the club. And there we go. That is unreal. Ants, on your break there. Unreal. Well done, mate. Thank you for coming in on the break as well. Um, and Paul, if you're looking at PAFC, it's not Port Adelaide Football Club, so Plymouth Argyle. Had to ask him because he has friends that live in Adelaide. Anyway, Hukic, though. With the goal. We're 1-0 to the good. Hey, I asked for a goal and FN obliged. Unreal. It's nice when that happens. Because if we can get Wilhelm Osser in the shoe off very quickly here today, I'll be happy. We're not known for our goal-scoring ability from set pieces, but it's a good ball in. Fernandez head straight at goal. And there we are. Pretty close to the ball going over the line, but never does in those highlights ever. Anyway, Nielsen to go long. Can we win it here? Cruel's a little bit shoved under it, and Salyabu has got numbers around him if he wants to give it a cut. And he does back stick, headed at goal over the bar. In the end, though, we get away with it, and it still is 1-0. A second before halftime would be magical. I'm not going to lie. Esberg beating Code 1-0. Massive game for Esberg. Don't want to claw back. 
corner. Sally Boo over the bar. Come on, boys. Last 10 minutes or so, not been great. Get in the halftime though at 1-0. It doesn't matter how you win games, you just keep winning games, and that's, the ma that's all that matters. A little bit more open for my liking here today, but that does happen. The shoe does look a little bit more dead. I am going to go and get the shoe off, and I am going to go... Got to go get Ben Nilsson up top, and we can change things around if needs be. And there we are. Ben is good enough to play out there. Anyway, Anderson on the ball. Lays back there. It's a good ball towards the back seat. Max effort block. Could have been handball, really. In the end, Jensen just thumps it. Or Hansen. And there we go. Could have been handball, really. I thought it would, might have been. You know, Dusan having his best of game out there. And I can't really take afford to take Wilhelm off with a game here at 1-0. I know Kenny's good. I know Kenny can go out there, but I just can't afford it. Anyway, got to win that ball. We do, Christian, but the head is not really great from the fullback. The makeshift fullback here today, and Mac now has time. It's a good ball in here. Raza, I need you. Raza, good boy. We said we needed him, and he came in clutch as the keeper, and it's cleared away by Fernandez, and Ben just thumps it, and that will be hopefully the highlight. It is good. Vilhomos is looking dead. I, frick me. So is everybody's looking dead. Kenny, get out there. Swap the two around. Kenny, I have full faith in you. He's a big boy. Yep, you're, you're one of the youngsters. Come on, son. Just put in a shift. They have been the better side of the two. I'm going to actually move us to a bit more balanced here. Something I don't really do too much of. It's a highlight. Nelson goes long. Yep, wins it to Hore. Dus, the youngster. Good ball in the crew. Bombing forward. Doesn't need to really. Keeps it here. That's a poor ball. Here we go. We're going to concede. That we just don't have the legs here to stand with this. It's a good finish. It's what it is. We just don't have the legs. We just are a team that's lacking a little bit of fitness here. Frank's going to have to come in here for Dus. Going to have to go for it a little bit more. And Anderson is going to come in here for Yep. Just be a little bit more... Forward thinking. Cruel ball goes long. That's going to be cut out. We want this highlight really to end. They have got all the legs. We have not been able to rotate or anything. It just is what it is. Hang on. It, look, it's 1-1. One, one. There's a time left for a late goal. If they would be clutch to score right now. So Jorge's not had the best of game. It's a highlight with a minute to go. Um... Just on. Might have been just off, you know. VR might have ruled that out. Full time, it's one all. The backup left back. Well, that's the thing. If we had Miguel Hedegaard, we wouldn't have to do that because he's naturally fit. But there he goes. I had to play Fernandes for a full game, Sorrells for a full game. Um, we didn't have... Vilhomosa came off and really changed the game, but he was dead. Frank had to come on late doors to try and save something. So Hora had to play 90 minutes. If we were at full fit, we would have won that game easy, and there we go. Instead, it was lat last, it was sluggish, it was slow, and yet again, it's just that thing that where we have depth, but it's depth where it's not like we can make changes and win games of football. It's, it's depth because it's there. You know, if there's an injury in one spot, I can bring someone in to do a job, but if I have to make three or four changes, the concept goes. The only thing that's really good for us is Hivador did draw as well, so we keep that gap, but Esberg, and we got them next, makes that game even more important. Esberg win, all of a sudden, the gap becomes a lot closer to third. Win that game away from home against Esberg, and you just never know what is going to happen this year. The only positive I can take out of that is that with three games played, seven points would have taken that every day of the season. Wow, Copenhagen and uh, Midland played quite the tie, didn't they? But yeah, against Esberg, we obviously lost to him home and away in the league, 5 2 4 2. But we changed into this system, and the first game we played in this system was a pre mid season friendly against them, and we pumped them 4 1. What is going to happen away from home here in the promotion league? Who knows? But let's go find out. It's four days until we play him at the Blue Water Arena. It's going to be Esberg. It's going to be SFB. Win this game. Promotion. Well and truly. In our hands. I think we do it. Lose this game. It's going to be on for young and old. Welcome back, YouTube. The last game of today's episode. It's Esberg. It is massive. It is the definition of a six-point swinger. We we'll lose this game. Esberg comes straight back into this promotion race. Win this game. And all of a sudden, we just creep away from these teams in third and fourth to a point where, really, we get that far ahead. We still have to play Lindsay and Federico, even though they're both away from home. You would imagine we win both games. We're probably nearly at the point of being too far away. That's a big call. 
but who knows? Anyway, in terms of the team, um, obviously Fernandez and Torares aren't 100% fit for this game here. I just don't see a way where we can rotate here today in this game. It's Raza and goals, Roberts, Fernandez, Torares. Krul is coming out. Mortensen is coming straight back into the side as well. Um, not like that really matters because both fullbacks aren't great. Vilhamosa and Kenny Milfot, the shoe, Anderson, Frank, and Zahore. We rotated against Federico because we knew this game was massive. And this game is massive indeed. It would have been nice to hold on against Federica as well. But here we go, everybody. Hold yourselves in. This is the game. Espo beat us home and away, but we beat him in the mid-season friendly in this season, in this system. And who knows, Daluj and Lung has been absolutely amazing. Patrick's been amazing this year for him too. But in the promotion race and towards the end of the season, they fell apart. Or else they probably would have been well in this fight and probably deserve to be right behind us more than Hivador do, but doesn't really matter to me. Anyhow, though, that's part and parcel with football with teams falling off a cliff. And they've been doing that of late, and hopefully we can heap the pressure on them. But they're a team when at their best, one of the best in the division. And who knows how this one's going to play out. Score prediction in the chat, as always, we're still live, of course. And hopefully we'll be okay. And the first real little bit of highlights come our way. We're going to go out there, so I'm not respect and press them. I've had enough of losing losing to them in you know competitive games. Today's the day. There's Pinholtz in there and really had a chance to go close and get ahead. But apart from that, very even start to the game. I kind of do want to go positive, but I might leave it on balance for a little bit longer than normal and let this game kind of creep away. A draw wouldn't be the worst result. At the same time, I don't want to really be negative. And Koja beating Hivador, which makes me want to go positive now because if we win today and second lose and we beat third, I'm telling you, that's just see you later. Like, there's no way that we don't do it. In the end, though, very, very, you know, very, very tame first half. Comes to a close. Does not bother me. And a way draw against Esberg, I would be absolutely over the moon. I'm going to tell the players I'm delighted. I do not mind if this game kind of ticks. An early highlight, though, second half. Cleared away by the shoe, and Anderson's good enough to get on the ball and go. And Zahore needs to split some people and make a run. Anderson, in the end, it gets tackled and will fall back to Tranberg, and he will go long, but it is going to be our ball with Mortensen. He's okay on the ball, not great. And in the end, he just puts it in towards Zahore, but that wasn't enough. And in the end, see what I mean? Mikel Hedegaard doesn't make that sort of pass. He finds feet or he puts it in behind where the two-star fullback there and Mortensen can't really do that. Anyway, Kaku now, Larson, his ball in the lunge. If this goal comes, it comes because we have a two-star left-back at left-back. And that would be annoying. And I'll just go bored, that's your fault. Mordenson on the other side for them. And his ball in, not bad, cleared away. Kenny can go with it now, and he just looks channel. So Jorge's quick and away, and here he goes, the star man, the best player in the division. So Jorge going, beats one, comes inside, goes for goal, thumps it in. What a run. All by himself was the Frenchman. The former man from Birmingham sends us into raptures, boys. It's 1-0, and from absolutely nothing, Johan Zahore's 31st of the year, he just goes on a run, and he blasts that ball in. Keeper had no show, unless he wanted a broken end. He won't get in the way of that. It is 1-0, and all of a sudden, boys, this SFB side is looking like we're getting promoted. It is massive. 60 minutes played. If it stays as we are, we are loving it. And at the moment, we are doing everything correct. And hopefully, we can just continue in the same vein for Mitchell. They've obviously got some quality players. And Dalyuj is quick and may get there. But in the end, Raz comes in and claims a second for us. And oh boy, oh boy. Fernandez now gets on it. Can go forward. He's very good on the ball. Callum Roberts, this New Zealander. Looks channel. I don't think he's going to find Zahore like that. And Pinholt deals. And Mordenson finds Kaku. And Kayuku Ka or Kayukuku. Who cares? It's a poor ball by the other midfield. And Frank wins it yet again. And he can go. He gets tackled. And in the end, Kayuku gets on it. Egulud, one of the better players in the division. Comes inside. Good run. Goes for goal. Block. Falls to Kayuku. His ball there. Christensen. He's got numbers. His ball into the line. Daluj. Out comes Raz. Doesn't deal with it. It's 1 1 just like that. The keeper should have come off the line a little quicker, maybe, but it was a well weighted ball. And Daluj, there, one of their best players, poops it in. And it's 1 1 just like that. And it all comes from just a little poor ball from Cullen Robertson. Like, the fullback had a bit more time. If he really wanted to put Zahore in, make it go long. Make it hit the keeper if it has to. Don't sell him short. Highlight from kickoff. I don't know what that means, really, because I haven't seen us score from kickoff too much. Anyway, Sarara is now. He goes all the way out the Raz. He's good with his feet. 
And hopefully we can just do a little bit of a better job here at keeping this ball. Fernandez now, he's good with the ball at his feet, but that is an ambitious ball, and that's not going to fall to anyone. But Frank wins it back, and Frank's ball looking for Zahore. Can he give us the lead again? He's in again. What a save by Holgerberg, one of the better keepers in the division. And this game is all of a sudden just turned into life. The shoe is looking a little bit worse for wear, and he's not having his best of the game. Ben Nielsen's going to go out there. I might start putting Mads on the bench here, to be honest, and not have Ben on the bench at all. Anderson looking a bit a little bit worse for wear. Hukic is going to come in here. There's no need for me to go for the win, but at the same time, it would be very nice to win this game late. Fernandez funds Bill Hamosa. He ain't coming off unless he absolutely goes down injured. And he keeps going. That ball out to Ben Nelson's not bad. Not known for being a winger, Ben, but he's been out, he's put out there just to be and be a little bit makeshift. Fernandez now, this probably is a pointless highlight. But we'll commentate it anyway. Still with Ben. His ball in is blocked. And I would imagine Daluge was offside there, referee. Flag doesn't actually go up. Is this a pointless highlight or what? Because I'm trying to make a change. Usually this is pointless. But Vilhamosa's ball. So Hore, he might be in. He goes for goal straight at the keeper. In the end, Holdrabet probably should have done a little bit better with the first effort, but that should be the highlight, and is. All right, so Frank's a little bit worse for wear as well out wide, but I prefer Frank to stay out there because he's quality. And it's just all about what we can do maybe back here. Callum doesn't bring down his man. It was not a bad time to get a yellow. Atkinson, what a run. In the end, Raza will not make a mistake. Serrara's having a bit of a shocker as well at centre-back. Milfot not 100% at his fittest. Phil Hamos is actually going to go to the other side and I'm going to release Yeppi Henderson Late doors here. I'm going to leave one more change up my sleeve to time waste with slash or go for it if needs be. Time ticks away here. A draw is not the worst result, but a win wouldn't be bad here. Time ticks away. Look, it's 1-1 one, one draw against arguably the, one of the best teams in the division. Lynch BR, the best team in the division. Does not bother me that game at all. Does not bother me that game at all. A, an away point, I'm delighted. That is a game that means nothing in the grand scheme of things. It means Esberg, right... Esberg have now got one less game to catch us. Perfect. Even better, Coach beat Hivador, which means we keep we grow the gap. That is a definition of the perfect result. A, a draw which eats one game away, and the team in second lose anyway, so we gain a point no matter what. That is perfect. Yes, we weren't great. Yes, we we didn't quite play for the result for a draw, but we never really went for it either. It was, just, it was just utterly professional, you know. We knew that if we don't lose today, it's really good for us. And we didn't lose today because, you know, we just knew. Espo don't beat us. We're in a very commanding spot, and we are. Next episode is going to be Hibador and HBK, or Coach. Two massive games. Two big games at home. Beat Hibador, the league is ours. Then if we beat Coach, we're never getting caught. Two games, two wins... If we do it, we will be promoted to the Super League, and hopefully we go professional. From Damo and everybody else here, I'll see you then for those two. We are getting down to the little end of the season, the business end. Are we going up? It's looking increasingly likely. Will we go professional? Who knows? All to be answered. See you next episode, where this promotion train will keep on going.